my gosh. We were not trying to be bougie on purpose, but... It's literally the only cars I have. Hawaii has a big issue right now with rental cars. There's not a lot available, so here we are in this Beamer. We are in Honolulu. We are driving to our hotel right now. This car is a baddie. <laughs> like, look at these lights <laughs> along the side. To be honest, I feel like I'm already in love. Like, I see a lot of mountainous looking areas right in front of us on this highway. Oh wow, come in, the shower is on your right, the toilet is on your right. Bathroom also has a bidet. Then you've got the bath. This is the room. It's a nice little seating area here. The walls have these beautiful flowers. Looks like painted on it. So he's done, he's on the floor. And this is a TV. A little desk area. This is the quinoa burger. And then this is the grilled cheese, which Zohabe is loving. Some kind of olive cake. Good morning from Hawaii, from Honolulu, from Waikiki. We're so excited to be here. So we got up at like Hawaii time 7 a.m., which is not what we do. We are not morning people, but that has been such a cool thing today. We are headed to our first uh, itinerary experience. So we're going to Diamond Head to do the one mile-ish hike, which gives you a pretty good uh, look of the island. So we're going to do that hike and then we have a brunch scheduled for 11 a.m. So we're going to see you at the hike. So excited for our day here in Honolulu. Look at these glimpses of Waikiki Beach. Look how blue that water is. It is incredible. I have to say there's quite a few people out actually, like it looks totally bumping. Ooh, look at that wave. And there's like all these stores here, everything you can think of. I believe that is Diamond Head. Yeah, that might be Diamond Head. Diamond Head Crater. The parking at Diamond Head was completely full, so instead I led us to the Coco Crater Head Trail. I was kind of avoiding this before because it it is, it looks like a very difficult hike. It goes uphill and it's pretty steep. I knew the parking situation would be better here. So that's why we're over here now. And let me show you guys how intense it looks. Do you guys see how freaking high up that goes? All right, that's it you guys. Look at how high up it goes. Oh my god. Ready? Almost. Starting here, the railroads have holes in them. There's like gaps. Oh. Little holes in between. We decided to go the side way instead of where the railroads start getting gaps because that part was way too scary. There's I. God, it goes so high. This is everything we've done. Almost there. It doesn't feel like
are on our way back down. Look at that journey we have taken to get here. Oh my gosh. We moved our brunch reservation three times. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna focus now. This is a lot. We were at the top of that. Like, we freaking were on top of this. There's also a shooting range by here. So that sound is a little disturbing, but you get really focused in on what you're doing. We've got guava juice and orange juice. Did you say it's the best orange juice you've ever had? Yeah, it's really, really good. Okay, so this is one of the most delicious juices I've ever had in my life. And this ginger beer is so interesting. It is so good. This is like my first outfit of the day. I like wore hiking clothes before, which are now destroyed, but this dress is from Greece. This is from Francesca's. And then I've got my water shoes, which are Tiva's. I think that's how you pronounce it. This purse is from Greece as well. I did lychee and guava. Cherry and coke? Yep. Good? Mm. So good. I got it with ice cream and mochi balls and so Hape didn't. But I think it would be good either way to be honest. It seems like a lot of local people were here at the shaved ice place. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the address right here so that you guys know what location we went to because apparently it's the original location and this is the one that you go to. Here's the entrance of the Royal Hawaiian. So he wants to get a picture here. It looks very nice. I have to say, it feels more like you're in Hawaii than you know, when we arrived to Prince Waikiki. So I totally get the appeal. It's beautiful, wow. It's like a little back area here. And then here. This hotel feels way more Hawaiian than ours. Diamond head, you guys. This is so pretty. Very nice. This is like the Royal Hawaiian uh, Center. So we're taking it for takeout instead. We finally got the udon noodles. Here we are, udon noodles. They gave us an apple cider bottle. This is gonna be a mess. Be because great. that, oh. because it's our honeymoon. Cheers. Good morning, everyone. It's day two here in Hawaii. I wanted to share my outfit of the day again. This is a swim top that I got off Amazon, which I really love. It's so hard to find a swimsuit that has sleeves, that's not low cut, and has a full back. So I really enjoyed the swimsuit. Um, this skirt is from Francesca's. I believe I got it on sale. 
And then these are my same Tiva shoes. Right now we are going to a place called Lily Ha Bakery, which again is another highly recommended place. They're cooking in front of us, and that's so amazing to see. Like this is our counter, and then this is the meals being cooked. We decided to stop at a beach because it's just way too freaking tempting. Holy cow. This is unreal. This is unreal. <laughs> almost murdered me. So hey, did you witness this? You're embarrassing me this trip. I literally got taken out by a wave while trying to do a video. This wave basically was trying to kill me. <laughs> Your skirt, <laughs> by the way, look where it is. So my skirt, my cover up got soaking wet. So now I'm sitting here in my like swim attire. My skirt's like trying to dry out there. It was just, it said strong current signs, but I didn't think I had gotten far in enough, but this wave just went whoop and got me. So just be careful. Luckily a lifeguard was there and he came just to, you, now we're going to the lighthouse trail and hopefully all goes well. It's a paved trail, but I can feel it's going uphill. So that part is challenging, but obviously nothing beats Coco Crater. Yeah. Look at how magnificent and blue as far as your eye can see. Like, you almost feel like you're seeing the curve of the world. Beautiful, beautiful scenery as we walk. Look at the waves crashing against the rocks. Just another viewpoint here, and then we're gonna go up to the lighthouse. Luckily the walk back is all downhill. Hey guys, came back to the hotel, freshened up, and now I'm wearing this dress, which I believe is from H&M, not ironed, I just cannot be bothered. And then on top 
is this white cover up with black buttons. This is from Amazon. And then I'm gonna wear my same Tevas. Several restaurants that I have on my list that are popular are closed on Mondays. Headed right now to Food Mart. That's what it's called. Food Mart to get poke. So excited to go to a grocery store type thing here in Hawaii. I don't know. Guys, Foodland is the one. Is it expensive? Yes, it is, but I've got my guava juice. How's it? Let's dig in. Woo! Just went off in Target. Just got all our souvenirs. And so there was a bit of a break in the day because we lost the car key. And this is a rental car. I was on such a high because this mall is absolutely amazing. We got some amazing shopping done, but then we lost the rental car key. And I just froze and panicked. And Zohe went and retraced all of our steps back in the mall. And it was at this cologne store we had stopped in. So grateful to be sitting in this car with the key. So we had a switch of plans and I'm just not into going to the beach right now. Like we've just kind of had a very long and eventful day. So instead we're going to a place called China Walls. It's more gonna be a spot for us to see the sunset. It's supposed to be good here and the waves and um, it's a place where the locals hang out as well. Got some frozen cola from oh, McDonald's. We're in the neighborhood for China Walls and there's such cute homes here. Like these are dream houses. And we just saw like a baseball game going on. It's such a cute place. So here we are parked and look at this view just from like our parking spot. And then look at these cute homes and this beautiful tree. Oh wow, it looks like a very exclusive entry. got a birthday surprise for me in my room. So tropical Hawaiian looking, I love it. I'm sorry, back to this bouquet because look at the color of this leaf. And then look at the orange of this plant. It is day three today and I'm just gonna do a quick outfit of the day. I'm actually just wearing this dress and I kind of forgot where it's from. I know I got it in New York. I think it was H&M or Forever 21 or something like that. But I have my swimsuit underneath that's from Amazon and then the same um, bottoms I've been wearing to swim. So, oh, and then the same Tevas. exciting things taking place. This is Leonard's. Let's open up these Portuguese donuts. I don't know yes. Uh-oh. Uh we don't know which one is which. We're gonna have to just experiment, I think. This is the cinnamon one, and I think it's my favorite. It's so yummy. I actually love these. We're in, like, central Oahu. We just passed the coffee farm, the Dole Plantation, and we're seeing all of this on our journey to the North Shore. House for sale. Let's grab the number. Pick up some local fruit. Here. This is 
Zohaib was really sweet and for my birthday he bought me a lei. Oh my god, it smells so good. So I got some guava, sugar cane, dragon fruit. This will be my first time eating dragon fruit. I'm so excited. And then we've got mango and pineapple. Head northwest on Hanopo Street toward Kakipi Place. We are so confused where to go. We're trying to get to Koala Bay. We're very confused. This is the famous Ban Banya tree, what is it called? Oh, it's so cool. Well, this is something. And then the hills was filmed here. Lost, Magnificent, like, oh, uh, Hungry Games. Wow. Oh. This is Turtle Bay. Amazing. We are here to eat the infamous shrimp at Giovanni's. Unfortunately, I am allergic to shellfish, so I'm gonna have to watch so he eat them. But I'm seriously like, should I test my allergy for these shrimp? Because the pictures I have seen are mm -mm good. Oh, and Zoe, you want hot sauce on the side, right? Giovanni's food truck over there and then all along here are shops, souvenir shops and things. I don't want to check this out. Number 26? This is the Scampi. Here it is in all its glory. Back to the car we go. Do you feel like you got a good idea of the North Shore? Jersey Shore, North Shore, I got a good idea of all the shores. Just coming on here to say that Ono Seafood Spicy Ahi Poke number seven is the best poke I've ever had in my life. And I would eat that again and again and again. I already miss it. So that is probably going to be a repeat place. It was so freaking good. Came back showered now going to actually a local beach that's a six minute walk from our hotel here at prince wakiki it's called ala moana beach and it's supposed to be less crowded than wakiki this romper is from urban outfitters i got it a while ago the same one i wore the other day from francesca and then tiva's like always so lovely. Look at these palm trees. Oh, it's so nice. Love it. Let's get closer. Oh, it's so lovely. So 
the water is so much more calm here. Like there are no aggressive waves if you can see. Like that's the biggest it really gets. This seating area is so cute. With the umbrella, the couch. Looks heavenly. Yum. Here we have it, the pink island with Lily Koi added to it. And as you can see, I'm back in the hotel now. The shaved ice was really good. It's at the same level as Viola shaved ice. It was really good. But anyway, I'm filming this clip because I think I'm going to conclude the video here for part one of Hawaii. I think if I do the whole week's worth in one video, it's just gonna be absurdly long. Thank you so much for watching our first three days in Hawaii. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm so excited to continue sharing the rest of our trip together. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Bye.